six? Yeah. Okay, let us be glad that you will see what you believe and that it has been given you to change what you believe. The body will but follow. It can never lead you where you would not be. It does not guard your sleep nor interfere with your awakening. Release your body from imprisonment and you will see no one as prisoner to what you have escaped. You will not want to hold in guilt your chosen enemies, nor keep in chains to the illusion of a changing love, the ones you think are friends. <clears throat> so how would we release our body from imprisonment? It's through the forgiveness, the miracles. We gradually re release ourselves from our body identity. Because we're doing two things when we forgive. You will no longer want to hold in guilt your chosen enemies. That's what forgiveness does. It says, I don't want to hold you in guilt. I've chosen to hate you, but I don't want to hold you in guilt because I don't want to hold myself in my body identity and guilt keeps us stuck here, okay? And then the other one is, because there's two ways we have to forgive. Yeah. And I don't want to hold in chains to the illusion of a changing love, the ones I think are my friends, which is my, I don't, I don't want to guilt trip you into having to stay here because you're supposed to love me. The other one you're attacking because they're guilty because you hate them. This one you're saying, you're, I love you, and so you have to do what I want you to do, or you're guilty. <laughs> you better love me the way I want you to do it, right? <laughs> both of them are imprisoning in us, and, and, and that's only because we're thinking we're bodies. We, both of those things we do because we we're, we're identifying with our body identity. If we were identifying with our spirit, we would know, first of all, no one did anything to me. I have no enemy. And I don't need you to love me any differently than you feel like loving me because I'm not a body that needs something to prop me up. I'm a spiritual being at one with God. So I don't need you to love me anyway. I need to love you. <laughs> and it doesn't change. Like he says, a changing love. I don't need, I don't, don't just love you when you do what I want you to do. My love is like God's love for us, constant. And so that's what we're, what forgiveness does is it keeps us out of our body identity. And that's why I remember how many times it says you can't forgive at the body level. Because the body thinks it needs this stuff. You forgive at the mind level and the body will follow, like you said. It will, it will get it. Your identity as a body will, will start to dissolve from your focus of attention. Okay. Oh, here, this is a nice paragraph. Is it me? The innocent release in gratitude for their release. And what they see upholds their freedom from imprisonment and death. Open your mind to change and there will be no ancient penalty exacted from your brother or yourself. For God has said there is no sacrifice that can be asked. There is no sacrifice that can be made. Is this the ancient penalty? Is that uh, like he talks about having where a present love becomes our... An ancient hate becomes an a present. Hate. Is that what Yes, that's ancient about penalty. It's our ancient hate. It's our ancient attack on ourselves for the separation, which we exhibit through our relationships. We attack, which preserves the separation. So it's ancient in that time started with this attack on ourselves for this imaginary separation. So that's why it's the undercurrent of everything is a sense of Fear of separation, think about it. Fear of separation from your family, fear of separation from a loved one, fear of separation from your children, fear of separation from what you, your, your, let's say your hometown, right? That's the fear of separation from God that's just being played out here. And then there's all this anger and attack because people aren't fail, are failing you or people are not doing what you want, which is our attack on ourselves. So that's what it is. <laughs> We're trying to get rid of this ancient uh, penalty Exact, it says, yeah. exact from your brother or yourself. We're trying to let this thing go. We don't need to do this. The reason being, the separation is not real. We don't have to keep playing this out. We can't be separated from anything we need. So those, all those fears of being separated from that or separated from this, and then I won't be okay, are all imaginary. If, if God walks with you and you're a part of the oneness, you can never be separated from what you need. This is all what the dream is trying to convince us which isn't true, based on the truth, which is also taught in the Bible. 
be still and know that I am God is like the bottom of it is I'm here. Don't go around attacking everybody because you think I'm not here. <laughs> right? right.